Hey guys, I think this is a new version of OBS, which, which look, does these transitions. Isn't that amazing? Anyway, the topic today is um, how to back up S3. So, uh, 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 I keep all my media uh, sort of year, month, day prefixed in um, on S3. But at the same time, I want to keep backups of my S3 bucket locally. So the way that I do that is that I sort of sort of manually run this AWS sync command. And I recommend the AWS sync command because it seems to be a little bit more efficient than the S3 command client. Your mileage may vary. But on my test, AWS S3 sync was better. I've already got um, sort of my keys configured, though um, for your backup strategy, you probably want to set up an S3 read-only account for your backups, I would say, and um, set up your key in sort of .aws config. And this should hopefully work. I'm not sure why it's so slow. Um, it doesn't help the fact that I think my S3 bucket is something close to 100 gigabytes. I probably should set up buckets for every year. Right now I have about five or six years worth of static files that I've uploaded here. And as you can see, it does seem to struggle um, with some encodings here. But anyway, let's, let me show you how I set up a cron job on System D. Let's do it, let's do it. So first off, you gotta to go to system, system. I think I have a good sort of template I can use here. I'll um, I'll give you a template. Let's see, uh, S3 uh, static backup. Okay, probably need a sudo. I wonder why this is quite slow. Okay, do S3. So you need a description. Wait, do you? I don't know. Um, okay, the, it's, in my, it's in my user. And what is the command? The command is, you need to have the fully qualified thing. The command looks like that. So it's like that, like that. So I usually just run it once or twice, obviously like this just to make sure it all works and I need to figure out why I'm getting horrible SSH session here uh, okay so first off you set up this sort of service file right yep 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 yep, yep. okay that looks right system ctl start name of the service file and then we give it a start and then you can either follow it or just run status over and over again just to see what, what it's doing and the cool thing about system d is that it actually sort of takes care of the logging for you in some ways Got to investigate my network one of these days. Can do some funny things. I mean, this service is local to me and I'm getting quite high ping times. So I got to look into that. Still running. Okay, anyway, I'm sure this is going to run just fine. We need to set up a timer so that it runs daily. So let me just copy this one. Um, and then I call it the same thing, same name, and then timer. Okay, run um, S3 back. So, you, so this on, on calendar thing says you run it daily. Uh, it could be weekly, it could be hourly. Um, I like those sort of human readable things, but you can't. There is just look up the uh, syntax, and you can. Uh, 
you can do all sorts of crazy timings, you know, once a day at certain different hours, you know, from Monday to Wednesday or something like that. You can do pretty wild things. But let's keep it simple here. So there's a timer basically telling how the service file is going to work. And all I need to do is enable that timer. Enable, well, en enable means that it, it always runs sort of as part of the system on boot. Um, but start actually activates it. Then if I go list timers, you can see that it's here now. And the next time it's going to run is on Saturday, midnight Saturday. So like midnight tonight, if I understand correctly. See, 11 hours left. It's a lot better than Cron. You just got to believe me. Let me see how this one's going. Um, I think it's fine. It ran. And nothing really happened. So that's it. I'm going to end it there. And um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up.